Good old white bass. Boom. Great. Boom. First white bass of the morning, y'all. Good gracious. Caught him on old Panther Martin, silver. Uh, so hey, what is happening, people? So we are white bass fishing on the Eno River, which is located north of Durham. This is our first trip down here. And uh, water temperature is 58 degrees. Hey, these fish are up here spawning. So if you watch this channel, the white bass are here and they'll be here through uh, through May. Well, till 1st of May. So, hey guys, come along with us. We're gonna white bass fish today. Hey, and I hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. right there y'all. Woo doggy boy. Wild life adventures, that's how we roll. <laughs> You fishing it deep or was it kind of shallow or do you remember? That was pretty shallow. Pretty shallow? Yeah. It hooked right there in his corner of his mouth, too. There we go. Show him to the camera. Boom. About 13 and a half, 14 inches. A little small. What's the uh, it gotta be 14 inches to keep. Yeah, he ain't 14, so. So boom. So basically what we're trying to do, we just stopped here kind of in this curb. We fishing, uh, so a lot of times these white bass, they'll relate to these shallow flats and they'll sit right on the corners and you know, they can move up real shallow, chase shad, spawn, and they still close to deep water. So that's kind of what you're looking for when you come down here is to fish those, those ledges. So you got shallow flat like runs this way and then it drops off into the creek channel. Right on that lip, that transition right there is a really good place to uh, find uh, white bass. Got him? Oh, Zach's on the board again. You're liking that silver, ain't it? It's a little bit better one right there. Y'all gonna about time the boat. Zach's on the board again back there. Don't hold him up where he can see him. Yeah, we probably won't keep, we won't keep no white bass. They gonna be all over us in a few minutes. They ain't over here. They were down, <laughs> they were down the river. Yeah, they, people, people see you catch, there's another one right there. People see you catch a fish, well, they, they gonna be here. So here's, we've got one on right here. That's a pretty good one. Boy, these jokers fight good. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better right here. Got eggs in her, don't you? Oh, yeah. See, she's full of eggs. Boom. Good close up. Look at that big eye right there. Boom. So, 
so you know they've been uh, so I did a video if you're interested uh, in why the white bass disappearing in uh, you know in some of these river chains around North Carolina and uh, you know they the biologists have still haven't quite figured it out and uh, so you know that's one reason we're not gonna keep any uh, white bass today we just want them to spawn and uh, get those little ones back into the system. Real quick, I'm fishing a seven foot eagle Fenwick rod, six pound test line, eight pound test line is good. And uh, this is the same rod that I usually crappy fish with. And uh, I'm fishing a Panther Martin uh, gold and Zach's got the, uh, the silver on. Both are good colors here. Puts out a lot of vibration. Those white bass usually are. Uh, Hit it pretty good. We also fish in like a curly tail jig, white with red head. It's usually pretty good. Uh, both of those combinations will produce. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing this area cause it's producing. Lures that we're fishing are fairly heavy. And uh, but very important, sometimes we're throwing open three feet of water too. When it hits the water, you've got to be winding these lures to keep them out of the grass. And uh, just a steady retrieve is what you're after. And of course, if I throw it out in a little deeper water, I may give it a few seconds to actually sink. Get it down in that five to six foot water column. And then just, uh, you know, swim in the lure back. That constant vibration just attracts those white bass to uh, smashing that lure. Now, we hadn't tried the curly tails yet, but we may try them here in a few minutes just to give them a different presentation. Y'all take care. All right, all right. Well, that's a good sized white perch. Now, that's a white perch there, boom. And uh, what'd he say? We in the money? That's a swim bait, Lake Country baits, boom. Hey, they won't, the Lake Country baits won't let you go hungry. Oh. Mm. Throw that curly tail back at This feels like a better one right here. Hey, Zach, throw that curly tail back at Give them something different to look at. Oh boy, this feels like a nice one, y'all. You're cutting through the water. Mm -mm. Oh boy. Man, these fish. Ah. That's shiny. He couldn't stand it, y'all. Boom. Hey, he's catching fish. Why should you move? Right? There he is again. Boom! Just like that. Good gracious, boy, they like that little swim bait. There's a little fry. Little fry right here, y'all. In the world. Little fry. That's a little white bass. He likes that little shiny swim bait there. They're crushing that thing. I topped it with a, that's a 16th ounce head, that black head. And uh, that swim bait's got a lot of action to it. I got some ponchos and stuff up here. Be warmer than this this morning. About 70 degrees this morning. Well, I thought it was supposed to be cloudy. Oh, oh, he hit it. He didn't get him. He didn't get him. Oh, there he is. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a school of them right there, 35 feet right behind the boat. They just went by the boat. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, 
All right, all right. Yeah, that's getting on up there pretty good right there, y'all. Boom. Good gracious. Ain't a white, a white bass is just such a pretty fish. Just a beautiful fish. Yeah, you hit that Lake Country bait. I think that's the shiny color. Dennis will correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's shiny or Virginia shad one. Uh, but it looks just like a shad. And I'm just basically casting this over here. I can be, I can wind this. Because it's a 16th, I can wind it a little slower. And, uh, and we just weren't used those Panther Martins and buzzed around here. So we just changed our method. Always when you come white bass fishing, you wanna, so if you have, if you got two people in the boat, you know, you can, one can throw one lure and one can throw the other lure. But uh, we were both throwing those uh, Panther Martins earlier. So we just switched over to these curly tails. Hey, you never know what you'll get a, you know, what kind of reaction that you'll get to a different lure or even a different color. Now I just put this color on. I anticipated the river not to be muddy because we hadn't had rain, boom, just like that right there. And uh, so uh, this color mimicked a shad color. And uh, ooh, that's another nice one, y'all. Good gracious, that boy. Mm. Ooh, doggy boy, come on over here. See if we can get that in on film too. Mm. Mm. Good gracious, this is gonna be the nicest of another day right here. Oh, good. Let me see if I can flip him. Great. Oh, boom. I say boom, y'all. Good gracious. Oh, fat. See, she's plumb full of eggs. Doggy. Let's see if we can do that again, y'all. Oh, oh, got bit again. Hit at it, but didn't eat it. You know, when you're up here fishing, <clears throat> you love us to get small white bass, nice white bass, white perch of any size, bluegill, crappy. You just don't, <clears throat> you just don't ever know when you're up here. And it's, in, in my opinion, uh, boom, there he is right there. In my opinion, when you come up here fishing to, uh, you know, just to make sure that you work an area thoroughly, because uh, these white bass are moving around. I've noticed them on the live, uh, live scope and they moving around they coming in and out is what they're doing <clears throat> and to give them time to uh, you know to come in and feed they run in and run back out run in run out now i come on spot lock and i'm just sitting here just waiting just a little small fry <clears throat> you didn't get no bumps on that white you want one of these swim baits Hold it, take your time. Let me let me dip it. 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 That's some good fish right there. Ain't delicious. Ah. Ain't but six pound test line. Good great. And that's what we're after right there. Woo doggy. Good gracious. Caught him on that lake country bait there. Boom. Go catch another. Ooh, there he is. This big is sucker a sucker too. Good gracious, that is a big fish. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that's the biggest one I've ever had on. 
That was a big fish. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That was a big white bass. Wow. Do you say you think the population is dwindling? Yeah, that's what they claim. They disappear and <coughs> they disappear completely in some you know, some chains, like the PD chain. There used to be a lot of them in the PD chain chain. They just they disappear and they don't know what the cause of it is. They're not in Heiko like they used to be. That's a white that's a white bay. Take him. Not a big one, but pretty average size. Yeah, you need a big stiff rod. I mean, I've got some just because uh, that's what we was catching all those bass down in the South Carolina with. Yeah. And so I had never fished none until we've done it. Huh? Now play him out right there. Have fun with him. Just wear him down. You ain't got to get him in the boat. Just go around the boat with him. There you go. You enjoy enjoy the fight. Yeah, enjoy the fight. Yeah. And you can just lift the rod up. He'll come right to you. Yeah. It's a, oh yeah. A good white bass. Good white bass. They're still pecking on it. That's a, catching ease. Yeah, that's a good fish. 13 it, inches right there. At least. Yeah. You know why these fish are here? Ain't nobody fished this flat. I don't think so. Nope. See, that's that's what you that's what you get when ain't nobody fished your flats out. Good gracious. Man, need some strong fish. Yeah, just enjoy the fight. I don't know. We're working on a we're working on a good mess here, Zach. Oh, look at it, boy! Good gracious, sir! Yeah, just play him out. Have fun with him. He's strong fish. Enjoy that. <laughs> Pretty strong. En aren't they? Yeah, enjoy that. Look, good gracious. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, all in all, it's been a good day. We probably caught white bass and perch, probably 45, 50 fish maybe uh, today. So it's been a really good day. Hitting a little lull now. And uh, you see, I got my rain suit on. It's been raining on us pretty hard. So caught a lot of fish when uh, I just put the cameras up uh, for a while while it was raining so hard. Uh, primarily, we caught them on those inline spinners and we caught them on those paddle tail baits by Lake Country Baits. Uh, that little Virginia shad color or shiny color was, uh, was really good today. It was lights out and uh, caught some good fish today. Anyway, if you've never tried white bass fishing, I encourage you to get out and, and fish. They are uh, strong fighters, white bass are. Anyway, I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. Uh, remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Don't forget to click that like button below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water. Just a small fry.